So back to, to celiac. Okay. So we said it's up to 10% of people. It's related to gluten. Um, symptoms are mostly gastrointestinal in, in nature, diarrhea, abdominal pain, bloating, weight loss, fatigue. You can get some anemia, growth issues in children. So who should be screened? Well, everybody at diagnosis should get screened. And there's some simple antibody tests you can do as kind of the first line thing to kind of diagnose it. And they're, they're much more aggressive about repeat screening in children that they usually just test annually in kids because it can affect growth, um, bone health, those kinds of things. In adults, it's a little less clear how often to check. We usually say at diagnosis and maybe yearly for the first couple years because I was reading that it's, it's interesting that... Um, if you have type 1 diabetes and you're going to get celiac, it tends to be within the first couple of years that you have type 1. So maybe you and I are out of the woods on this one. Yeah. But something like 50% of people that have celiac, they had it within their first year of type 1 diabetes. I mean, what a shitty year, right? You get type 1 diabetes and then guess what? You also yeah. have celiac. Because you... that's that's affects your quality yeah. of daily living, especially everything you eat. But the thing is... Many times the diagnosis is missed. Yeah. And I have missed it myself because not everyone gets all these symptoms. They don't get them at the same intensity. And or, I've been in. Or I'm, completely asymptomatic. Yeah. So that's another thing that comes up that people will screen. They have zero symptoms, but you can kind of have this silent celiac where you're still having the inflammation, um, but you don't know 